But out of this period of, shall we say, dross, came an unexpected gem, Flame, starring the lads from Slade. No, really, it's great. This is not, you know, Spice Girls the movie. This is quite a hard film about the rock and roll process, with a real group in it. So these are guys who've been through the, you know, the mill, who've come out of slums in the West Midlands, and just about lived to tell the tale. They were a much-loved band, they were good fun, they were quite theatrical in a lot of ways, and yet at the same time you believe they could live next door and you could come round your house and borrow a cup of sugar. That's why we loved Slade. The characters of the band are very close, or at least it seems that they're very close, to the characters of Slade. I mean, Noddy Holder and Jim Lee do seem very much to be playing themselves as the kind of the musical axis of the groups they always were with Slade. There's a big question about whether, you know, Dave Hill playing Flame's knob of a guitarist, Barry, is either being an absolutely brilliant actor or he is just playing himself. And, you know, who knows? Not only plays Stoker, who's basically himself, he really threw himself into the acting, playing a version of himself. And you never feel like he's, he's really forcing it. He's actually quite a naturalistic actor. Five quid! You are Jackie worth every penny! They took me down, I think it was down Petticoat Lane in the market scene, and I actually went on a Sunday, and a market trader taught me how to do it. And I actually sold on the Sunday in the real market. Is that a tip? Smash! That's what we call in the trade a tea break. The scene in the in the pigeon loft out on the allotments with Jim Lee, they've both really good. I mean, they know each other, but nevertheless, they sound like they're having a conversation. They don't sound like they're acting out some lines that have been written for them. Oh, come on, don't give me that. Are you chuffed after one gig? Yeah, of course I'm chuffed. Why not, then? Look, the Seymour Trust, the Ron Hardin Trust, they're all the same. It's just that he's got better nail paper, that's all. Look, don't let that old sock get to you. This is a real chance. Look, he's just run hardy with another name, that's all. They're all 10% merchants. They're all bloody villains. That's pretty good going. You know, people forget how good they were in that. If this comes off, that we're no more doing 15 quick gigs for ponsies like him, it'll be down to us what we want to do. I think that's all down to the director, really, Richard Long Crane, who went on to a, an illustrious career and was last seen directing Firewall with Harrison Ford. And I think he handled the, the actors very well and made them do lots of takes and stuff like that. Flame, I mean, they're not Slade. No, no, no. It's got no balls. But they're, they're pretty close in some respects, particularly in the respect of the personality. Do you actually like what we do? <laughs> My personal preference really doesn't come into it. And it is a really good study, I think, in both a rather harsh view of the realities of rock and roll life, but also in being a band in a movie, playing a band. You know, it's kind of... It, it's very self-referential, but it's good. And I'm not a Slade fan, but I can really enjoy that film. It is, to some extent, in the tradition of performance. So performance is a much more adult film, it's a much more experimental film, but it's a, you know, it's a film dealing with real issues, and it's, it's not a film about rock and roll, it's a film about violence. Well, Slade, in Flame, is not really a film about rock and roll, it's a film about people falling apart whilst on tour. <laughs> In 75, it was too much, for mainly for the, a lot of the public, to accept from a band like us. They couldn't... They wanted the glamour, they wanted the fantasy of, of what we were all about and what glam rock was all about, in a way. They, they didn't for a minute expect that we were going to get this hard-hitting movie. The reason Slade in Flame will stand the test of time as the Citizen Kane of British pop movies, which it is, is because the people who made it had so much to lose. I mean, anyone can make a movie about rock and roll being a bit rubbish, right? Anyone can make a movie about life on the road being a bit crap. Anyone can make a movie about managers, you know what? They're all the same, as they say in the movie, they're all 10% merchants, I can live without that. Anyone can do that, but it's a different thing to do it when you are actually slayed when you are actually a band that is out there shipping millions and millions of singles to teeny bop fans who are going to pay to go and see that movie and are going to walk out of it going... How does it feel? Turn it away. If you'd have picked, say, a much more serious band to do that movie, 
it would not have had the effect at all, because that's what people would have expected of that band. But with us, it is absolutely not what they expected of the band. And so it made the myth that fantasy uh, being exposed all the more hard a pill to swallow, really. Mm -hmm.